Hi James. Ah, this is working properly this time. Last time it went all ooh uh. uh yeah, I'm uh, dressed in my uh, non-tusting survival gear back in the UK. You'll have to wear your uh, rab pants when you get back over here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm doing one more uh, cocktail today. I wasn't impressed with the James Bond ones. They were um, too strong even for me. And I couldn't taste the orange peel, etc. Yeah, not brilliant. They're okay. Anyway, so to go with my uh, new cocktail that I'm inventing today, which is going to be called the 101F in uh, honour of you over there in Tustin. So it's 101F, it's going to be very cold, so you can slurp it all day long. Anyway, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to eat this bad boy. It's going to be a toasty. We've got a special free cheese jalapeno chilli bloomer. You can't beat bloomers in the kitchen. I'm going to put some curry powder with it uh, and some mature cheddar cheese. Bit of dill to make it look green and healthy, and an onion. So it's gonna, and, oh, and also uh, to make it a bit more spicy, some of my 400,000 Scoville uh, peppers, paper lanterns. They are, they're the best. I, I, I could have a little taste now, couldn't I? It's melting on the thong. Actually, it's melting my tongue. Gator's La laughing at me. Oh, that's quite hot, actually. Where's the milk? Made trim. I went in the, I went, I, I went in the uh, fridge earlier, but the only milk we had in there had breast written on it. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, glad that's hot. Uh, I'm going to have to stop now. Uh, see you later. Well, it's going to be the ultimate cheese toasty. Vegetarian style. We've got a uh, three cheese and jalapeno bread cut into three. So we've got a triple decker, we've got air onion, we've got my home grown paper lantern chilies, 500, no, 400,000 scores. Don't exaggerate, I'm there. Bit of a nibble on there. Actually, I can't taste them. I think I've been drinking too. Too many cocktails. I've been doing a James Bond cocktail night last night. Anyway, they, they're normally quite hot. Actually, I've never one. That must have been a, a whim. Well, that's better. Oh, yes. Bit curry powder to go on the cheese. I'm going to use cheap cheese, but they are mature. Because... <laughs> yeah, that's a better one. Uh, yeah, because um, you just want something gloopy. It's mature, but, but when you get all that on it, you're not going to have sweet. Actually, that's, that was three cheese bread. It's going to be four cheese bread. And a bit of dill just to make it look uh, green and healthy. Actually, that actually has, has a bit of a punch itself. So I probably can taste those when I make it. Anyway, time to slice the bread and make another cocktail. I've decided to uh, a, a, a invent a new cocktail for my friend over in California. It's 101F over there, whatever that is. I think it's about 48, uh, 38 centigrade. Uh, oh, equivalent, but it's very hot, so I'm going to do a very ice cold cocktail for him that I invented uh, just 20 seconds ago, and I'm going to make that bad boy. Okay, this is a cocktail I've invented for my friend who lives in America in 101 Fahrenheit degrees. So I'm going to call this a 101F. It's got to be cold, so that's been in the fridge, that's been in the fridge, that's been in the freezer. You can see how cold it is. Oh, matron. Or extra orange juice in the fridge. And I also put some extra bits of orange that were frozen into ice cubes. So we've got frozen ice cube orange. We've got uh, orange juice. So it looks like California. We've got uh, extra cool gin. You can use vodka if you want. Oh, blimey. Gravity is my friend. Uh, and then the Lily. Lily. Blanc. You can say Blanc, right? Not blank. And then top it off with 
tonic water. I need to get my mixer out. Yeah, oh yes, an old fondue fork. The last time we had a fondue. It looks good. I'm still making my uh, extra incredibly hot jalapeno with extra cheese and chilies and onion and curry powder and dill. Sandwiches, toasties. Good old toasty, eh? Anyway, that'll be for later. Let's try what this tastes like. It's looking very fist quenching. Well, it's definitely cold. Oh, it's very nice. Very good for an afternoon on the veranda over in uh, SoCal, Orange County. Orange County, oh, okay. You've gone too far, Andy, with the jokes. It's very good. I shall drink it on your behalf, my friend in America. <sighs> oh, God, yeah. Lovely. Toodles. Frying tonight. Uh, it's quite the old uh, carry-on film. Carrying up the Kyber. Actually, this will come, be coming out my Kyber later. <laughs> Uh, in a stingy sort of way, probably. Right, so what I've done now is obviously I've fried all the uh, onions and red hot peppers. And what I'm going to do before I go into the oven, I'm going to uh, baste, baste my jalapeno bread. My jalapeno bread, jalapeno bread, uh, with three cheeses in it, in the extra concentrated chili oil. Uh, and then we'll put it in the uh, the oven with some dill and some curry powder on top of the cheese. Yeah, let's get ready to rumble. Oh, I've still got one of my uh, James Bond uh, cocktails left there. Uh, good. Right, let's crack on. Well, even Andy's big pan is not quite big enough for uh, an entire loaf of bread. I wonder if Jesus had this problem when he was on, uh, at Galilee with his uh, fishes and uh, a loaf of toasty or whatever it was. Mm. Probably not. He had a really good size pan. One would wonder. Right, it's all done and dusted. Oh, look at that. Oh. Matrim. So there's my toasties. There's my uh, very cheap mature cheese. The oven's rocking and rolling, making sound of goodness. I got my dough to make it healthy and my curry powder to put on top of my cheese. Are they actually cheese? They said to mature. Was it talking about me or the cheese? Yeah, oh, probably the cheese. Ooh, yes. I do the build, I can't do it one handed while using this GoPro. And you'll see it in all its glory or infamy. Infamy, infamy. My cheese toast has got it infamy. Wow. Looking good. He says optimistically. <laughs> if, if, if it doesn't appear on YouTube, you know it's gone horribly wrong. The best ever. Very hot. Sub. Is it about to rock and roll into the oven? It's already telling me off that I've spent too long on YouTube. Now I'll shut it up. No, it didn't shut it up. Shut up! Oh, it's the microwave going off. Gainer, you have. Uh, uh, my wife, who, uh, whose name I can't mention on the YouTube, has, has got a drink. Go on, go, go get it. Go get it. <laughs> go get it. Yes, I will do. Don't worry, I'll cut it out. Good. I've been out the kitchen for an hour. Ah. Keep 
Ooh, I'm not sure of the great uh, directors of all time. Yeah, Apocalypse Now, Two Friends One Space Odyssey, Cookie Gay, Very Hot Sandwich. I'll go a bit uh, Whisper in the Garden. Just like uh, Born Free. That was a good film as well. And she's gone. Right, and get back in there. Ooh, never get married. At least not to a woman. Uh, right, where was I? Yeah, I was about to, sp I was about to spend Mark Curry powder. <laughs> oh, my jeez. I've been married 30 years today. We're going off on a uh, special trip next week. Anyway, that's a surprise. Ooh, there we go. Look. Ooh, got to be careful here. A big clump. It's good everywhere. Oh yes. Not too much, Andy, not too much. You know you go over. Uh... I tell you that's got a really good smell. Oh. Bit of coconut milk in that. Chicken coma. Yeah, right, here we go. And the dough to make it look healthy. Ooh, oh, a bit too much there. I got wind I got a wind of the wind's blowing out the door. He says, blaming it. All oh, right, let's spread it out a bit. Looking good. Right, let's make it up. Put it in the oven in its uh, cling foil. Oh, that's me, me cocktail. Me James Bond style cocktail. That's just bloody good, that is. Yeah, wrap that up in tin foil. 15 minutes in the oven just to warm through and then blast it with a bit of grill action at the end. Sorted. And there it is, ready to rock and roll. Ooh, it looks like a stately uh, ocean liner. Hopefully the uh, USS United States and its blue ribbon voyage when it broke all the records and not the Titanic. Let's see. I'm gonna wrap it in tin foil, 15 minutes in just to get it all sauced up, all melty melty. And then five minutes on the grill, just get the top done. And let's serve. It's just come out of the oven. What does it look like? Is it warm through? Is it a disaster? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> let's just try and see. Pop it back in the oven, screw that top off, and we're sorted. Okay, time to uh, get the sacrificial lamb out of the out of the oven. I've got my carving knife with that sort of uh, patina they put on the blade to make you spend twice as much buying it. And lemon and orange and a bit of vodka and some uh, martini in a pan jar. Mm. Just to wash it all down with. Right, let's see how it looks. Oh, Ooh. toast. This is going to be hot in the sun. Ah! She doesn't like my fingers there. Get some other gloves, Andy. Right, I'm going get, get, to get out of here now. All right, well, let me put the phone down. Uh, the phone? The camera down. Bloody phones, they get everywhere, don't they? Oh, I'm just getting it out of the uh, package. I'll describe it all as if you're on radio. Ooh. Hold on a second. Where do you pop up? <laughs> I'll tell you what, he knows that the sound of the oven beeping. Now he's going up there thinking, I'll just wait here for leftovers. Uh, and a pigeon. You'll never catch one where it's be too old and fat. He's got his ear lift up. Right, here we go, get back to the main deal. That is looking pretty damn good. Let's get it out of this info. Ah, 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 it's hot. Ah. Ooh, that is hot. Look at that. Ooh. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to take a photo for the gram or what they call, so I'll be back later. And I'll slice it. Uh, diagonally? Tetragonally? Squarely? Oh, just half in half, I don't know. But that's looking damn good. I tell you what, it smells good. And there it is. 
I just cut it with a carving knife and just uh, licked a bit off it and uh, oh it's quite warm that thing is hotter than the sun as you can probably tell with the natural is falling out of it good job I got my ex James Bond uh, cocktail in a pint glass holy moly I might have to age a bit help the cheese along <laughs> Wow. It's actually getting to the point where I don't actually try it without uh, taking some of that off. Wish me luck. And there it is, the ultimate jalapeno, free cheese, an extra cheese, extra chilies, and onion baguette. Sweet!